starting tomorrow, local law enforcement officers, as well as the Ohio State Highway Patrol, who witness anyone manipulating their cell phone while driving can immediately initiate a traffic stop before that driver can cause a crash. On top of that, distracted driving will now be considered a primary offense. It will be illegal, with just a few exceptions, for any Ohio driver to use or hold an electronic wireless device like a cell phone while at the same time driving. What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Breaking Truckers. Can immediately initiate a traffic stop before that driver can cause a crash. All right, everybody, let's get it. Let's jump right into this one, man. This is this is for everybody across the spectrum, not just truckers. I mean, it's more, it, I, I think they geared this more towards truckers than anything. But, but this is geared towards everybody across the whole spectrum. No more wasting time. Let's get it. Hold on. Today, Ohio Governor Mike DeWine kicked off a campaign to make Ohioans aware of a new law on the roads. Neil Fisher reports on the law itself and reaction to the exceptions within the law. Tonight, Ohioans prepared to abide by a new law on the roads. It will be illegal, with just a few exceptions, for any Ohio driver to use or hold an electronic wireless device. While the distracted driving law goes into effect Tuesday, the first citations won't be given out until October. They're going to use this six-month period here to, to really hone in on what we're looking for. The grace period gives Sergeant Edward Chapman and the Bay Village Police Department time to educate motorists while understanding the law themselves. In order to actually enforce this law, officers have to observe the offense being committed. But the offense is raising controversy. It's raising lots of questions. Within the law, there are exceptions where drivers can use their phones. This includes reporting an emergency, holding your phone to your ear during a conversation if it started with a single touch or swipe, or using your phone at a traffic light. Case Western Reserve University law professor Michael Benza tells me over the next six months, feedback from law enforcement and motorists will be needed. Is the statute doing what we want to do before we start imposing criminal liability on people or issuing citations? Cell phones are part of everyday life now, and, there, and there's no way around that. But what we can't do is allow them to become a hindrance or a safety issue while on the road. In most cases, anything more than a single touch or swipe is against the law. This means you can't dial a phone number, write a text message, or use your phone for video calls. Citations will begin on October 4th, but once citations are given, a lot of cases will be up to the court's discretion. Russ. All right, Neil Fisher in the newsroom. Thank you. Ohio. My home state. My hometown. As of April 4th. 2023 now before april 4th 2023 it has always been illegal to text always been illegal to like actually be on the phone but in this wording ohio worded it different so instead of saying illegal to text it is now illegal to hold a cell phone or an electronic device. Now, let me stop the show. What exactly is considered an electronic device? Well, it could be a tablet, a laptop, maybe a camera a gopro i mean what do you consider other electronic devices that you can actually hold while driving that will be illegal for you other than the cell phone now even though the cell phone is the most common thing that people hold but it has now in the modern times, people hold cameras, people hold uh, tablets, laptops, many, uh, many portable devices, maybe, maybe. But Ohio says it doesn't matter if it's electronic, 
you're breaking the law. Drink the coffee, it'll make you feel better. So more so more so they're focusing on the cell phone, really. But if you holding any other devices or anything like that, it's illegal now. It's illegal on Ohio roads. All of Ohio roads. The back roads, the main roads, the city roads, the the country roads, all roads. It is now illegal in Ohio. And if a and, and if an officer sees a violation, they can and will pull you over. Now let's stop the show again. How are they gonna see? How would they know? How would they tell? Well, they could probably tell by movement. Like I would eat what what? Yeah, movement. Like for example, right? For example, like I'm a truck driver. So if you constantly driving down the way and your head is in a, a downward motion for more than maybe two, maybe three, maybe five minutes or so, and the officer kind of sees that, then the officer can predeter and say, you was looking at your device, whatever it is. Again, could be a tablet, could be a phone, could be whatever you're doing. You could probably be eating. You know, but I, I guess what the officer has to do is actually prove that you was breaking the law some kind of way. Now, in situations at night, which if you hold your phone like in the downward motion and, the, and you know, the phone illuminates light, it does. It, it illuminates light. And you know those cops that be in them dark black sedans, they be side riding you. They be side riding you. They'll, they'll look over, they can see, you know, how your head motion and all like that. And they can see light illuminating through the window that gives them pause for pulling you over. So just know drivers, this, this doesn't go for, you know, truck drivers, but it goes for all drivers. Be careful. Be careful because one of those state troopers that be in those SUVs or be in them black trucks or just happen, if you happen to see a truck just side riding you for a length of time, they peeping you out. They seeing what you're doing. And then they're going to send that information over to a a, 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 a a road car. That road car is going to come up, going to pull you over and give you a ticket for electronic device. Now, of course, if you know, of course, you can still make your calls. You can still receive your calls. You can do it. But the only way you can do it is by speakerphone, earpiece, wireless headset, electronic watch, or connecting the phone to a vehicle. Now, let me, again, let me stop the show. About to stop it. Now, it says wireless headset, you know, like the Bluetooth headsets. But what about the wired, though? What about the wired? I mean, we some of us don't have wireless headsets. You know, we, we do have the wired headsets. So are we in violation if we use the wired headsets? Hmm. That's, let's hope that's not a gray area. But now in most cases anything more than a touch or a swipe is against the law 
anything. Like if you mess with your GPS, against the law. You mess with your tablet, against the law. You, you, you mess with your phone, against the law. Now, a lot of times you will set your GPS, you will set your tablet to, you know, your favorite podcast, to your favorite radio station, to your favorite, uh, your, your favorite Spotify. And then your GPS is already set to where you need to go. You don't need to touch it. There won't be a reason to, right? Unless you, you know, you're looking for parking and then now you might want to, you know, manipulate the GPS to find the closest parking, right? But if a cop sees you manipulating the GPS or the tablet, illegal. And they can and will pull you over and give you a ticket. Ohio made it now <laughs> I, I i forgot what he said how they make it now but it's it's <laughs> whatever you do you touch it you get a ticket it's against the law but can i still use bluetooth though the new law allows drivers over 18 to make and receive phone calls using hands-free technology such as bluetooth or integrated system within the vehicle as long as you don't hold or support the device or manually enter letters numbers or symbols if you must physically manipulate your device you should pull over and safely do it while you're parked now here's here's the caveat to that now i mentioned back in the day because a situation like this has happened to me i pulled over to the shoulder off the road further over to the shoulder and i had to use the phone to make an emergency phone call to make sure that my family was all right but cop pulled up on me and said hey uh you can't pull over. You can't pull over to the shoulder. It's illegal. But I said, hey, I'm I'm using my phone. I had to make a, an emergency phone call. It doesn't matter. You have to pull off the shoulder or pull off the highway to, you know, do whatever you need as far as you need in the phone. Now, with the new law here in Ohio would pulling it over to the shoulder to use your phone would be a, a double entendre right there i mean can i get hit for using the phone and being on the shoulder too there's a lot of gray areas in this it's a lot it's a lot to think about what is off limits though with very few exceptions, anything that's involving using, holding, supporting a device while driving is off limits. This can include dialing a number, sending a text, updating your social media, video calls, or FaceTime. Mmm. Mmm stop the show off limits is video calls and facetime meaning that you can't do no more live feeds i was talking about that browsing the internet watching videos playing games recording or streaming videos told y'all that was coming i told y'all that was coming and a lot of you social media drivers TikTok drivers doing a whole lot of uh well the video the video is not towards me it's it's not towards me no 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 they said recording or streaming
my god, that is the best coffee I've ever tasted. All together. Now, unless you have a a dash camera that can record while you're not manipulating it, boom, you're good. But if you're recording or streaming, it's illegal. Don't get caught doing it. Don't get caught doing it. Told y'all it was coming. Drivers can listen to audio, stream apps using navigation equipment if they turned them on before you start to drive. Getting in the car, getting on the road, or use a single touch swipe to activate, modify, or deactivate them. Remember. Remember that. Exceptions, though, including drivers reporting an emergency to law enforcement, a hospital health care provider, fire department, or similar emergency entity, meaning that Everybody keeps saying in the comments, well, what about the what about the officers now? They look at their cell phones and they in their uh computers while going down Ohio highways. Oh no, they they exempt, bro. <laughs> they exempt. They they don't have nothing to worry about. Drivers holding a phone to their ear during the phone conversation if the call started or stopped with a single touch swipe. That's an exception now. So we can hold the phone up to our ears now. But like I said, it's a lot of gray areas here. It's a lot of gray areas. Drivers holding or using cell phones or other devices while stopped at a traffic light or parked on a highway off the road in a non-emergency situation so if you're parked if you had a traffic light or if you're off the road you're golden first responders law enforcement fire ems using electronic devices as a part of their official duties Utility workers operating utility vehicles in certain emergency outage situations. Licensed operators using an amateur radio, meaning that you're good to use your CB. Commercial truck drivers using a mobile data. So all in all, before I get on up out of here, just know that Ohio has a new law in place as of April 2023 that if you're caught holding, manipulating, or using your cell phone or any other electronic device, you will get stopped, you will get pulled over, and you will get a ticket. Looking at your cell phone while stopped at a light can potentially endanger your friends, family, and neighbors. Drivers have a responsibility to watch for people crossing the street and other drivers and bicyclists as well. Distracted driving law. That is the new law that will take effect April 2023. The Ohio Highway Patrol and local law enforcement will issue warnings for six months for violations as a part of the effort to educate and help motorists adapt to the new law beginning october 5th the law enforcement will start issuing citations and it is broke down in the following first offense is the first offense in two years points assessed the driver's license up to a 150 dollar fine second offense in two years three points assessed up i mean assessed to the license up to two hundred and fifty dollar fine third or more offense in two years four points assessed to the license a five hundred dollar fine a 90 day suspension 
of your license. Fines doubled if the violation incurs in a work zone. The new distractive law can be found in section 45112, I mean, dot 204 of the Ohio Resi Revised Code. Well, there you have it. There you have it. Everything you need to know about the new Ohio Distracted Driving Law. In other words, you use your phone, you get caught with your phone in your hand, or you get caught with any other devices in your lap. In your lap. Has to be in, yo, you get if it's in your lap and they see it, you're done. They'll give you a warning within the first couple of months, but after after October, they coming for you. And I know a lot of you guys are gonna be like, oh, well, this is another opportunity for them to give more tickets and make more money. No, it's distraction. 50% of the crashes in Ohio highways are because of distracted driving. More so, somebody was on their phone. I just talked about a driver that was on, on the phone talking to uh, somebody that was delivering through his ring doorbell and 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 crashed and unalive, unalive two people on I-35. So, yeah, it's serious. I see a lot of drivers. I see a lot of you drivers out there. I, I see y'all. I see y'all with y'all phones in y'all hands. I see y'all when you know doing y'all live streams. I see y'all. Hopefully, um, hopefully this will deter some of you people. Unalive, unalive two people on I thirty five. So, yeah, it's serious. I see a lot of drivers. I see a lot of you drivers out there. I I see y'all. I see y'all with y'all phones in y'all hands. I see y'all when you know doing y'all live streams. I see y'all. Hopefully, um, hopefully this would deter some of you people.